Salut. Salut. See you later. Now, over the past few days, thousands of people around the world could be spotted, if you checked on them, looking up at the sky, and the reason they were doing it was to stare at the moon. There was a big event sponsored by NASA that was to encourage observation, appreciation, and understanding of the moon. Events organised right around the world, and of course, fabulous pictures are being shared. We're going to show you some of those in a moment, but first, let's speak to Tim Long, who is an astronomy enthusiast who organised a moon-observing event in the southeast of England. How did it go, Tim? Uh, hi Lucy, yes it went very well, we were very pleased and we had a fantastic clear night, we were able to see the moon really clearly and uh, about 50 people came along and enjoyed the sight. So the weather was good? Fantastic and, and we were so lucky because I think, I think a lot of people in the country didn't have clear skies and uh, it was our scheduled event anyway so it just worked out really well for us. What sort of things were they able to see uh, Tim? Okay, well, we obviously we looked at the moon, and that was the, the star of the night, but we also looked at the planet Saturn and its rings uh, early in the night. In fact, we were able to see that before it was even dark. And the, uh, then we looked at the, uh, the great cluster in Hercules, also known as Messier Object 13, and that's a globular cluster, which is a, a big ball of stars bound by gravity. It's about 100,000 stars, and it's 22,000 light years away. We can see it just fine with our telescope. But Tim, in terms of the moon, because it's so close to us, we can see so much detail of the moon. I think that means that people have a different kind of connection to it too. Absolutely, and um, uh, astronomers have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the moon because when the moon's out, it means you can't see much else. But on the other hand, you know, if you've never seen the moon through a big telescope, wow, it will absolutely knock your socks off. What do you think of the moon? Do you have a, a, a close connection to it? Is it something you enjoy looking up at? I, I never get fed up looking at the moon, and um, you know, there's a, an amazing amount of detail you can see. We can see um, craters, and we can see the seas. Uh, uh, the, um, on Friday night, we, a particularly prominent crater was Ptolemaeus and uh, Sinus Medii, which I think, I think in Latin means the bay in the middle, because uh, it's right in the middle of the moon, and th there's just all kinds of things you can do you see, think mountains. For particularly, Tim, for children, do you think being able to see the moon so clearly helps foster a kind of love and a passion for other things in the universe as well? I would hope so, and because it's such an easy object to see, anybody can look at it, even with just a simple pair of binoculars from their back garden. And um, if we can uh, draw especially kids into astronomy and get them interested in science and nature that way, then that's a big win for us. Did you have some kids at your event? Yeah, we, we had, oh, I, 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 I didn't count them, but we had over 50 people, and I would say, well, quite a number of those were kids that came with their, pa their parents. It sounds like it went wonderfully well. Tim, thanks for joining us and for sharing your pictures as well.